Hey guys, so it's the Call of Duty Gamer here. In this video, I will be telling you every weapon in Black Ops 3 right now. So this is uh, before the beta, this is right before the beta. This is all the information we have right now. They might add some weapons in during the beta or when the beta comes out. But uh, for now, these are all the weapons we know. So I'm going to start out with the assault rifles. So we have the ARK-7. This is a low recoil assault rifle, sort of like the AK-12 from COD Advanced Warfare. And like most AKs in previous Call of Duty, it's basically just your standard AK in this game. Next is in the XR-2 three-round burst um, gun. This is a fairly good gun, has a decent time to kill. And yes, the three-round burst gun in this game. Next is the M8A7. It's a four-round burst gun. It's like the M8A1 from Black Ops 2. It's basically a carbon copy of that gun. Next is the Mano War. It's a very slow rate of fire Securing gun, but really high damage. So this gun is sort of like a SCAR-8, but with a little less fire rate and more damage. Uh, next is the HVK-30. This is kind of like the HVRA-3 from Advanced Warfare. And lastly is the Shiva Assault Rifle. It's a two-hit kill semi-auto uh, assault rifle, which is quite good to put um, with the package on it. I forget what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's called like Extreme Forcing or something like that. It makes it a one-shot kill in the head, which makes this gun very good. Next are the submachine guns. Uh, the most interesting out of these is the stem. Um, this gun was in Black Ops 1, and uh, Treyarch hasn't really given much to this gun. But um, it's rumored to be in the game, so I just thought I'd put it in here. Yeah, the stem submachine gun. I just thought I'd put it in there just in case it comes out. So that's what I'm going Next is the Razorback, and basically all of the descriptions and analysis done are directly from um, sort of the picture you see of the gun the description next to it. So the Razorback is a very low recoil mid-range gun. So that's what we know about that gun. It is a steady rate of fire with balanced recoil. It's sort of like the KF5 from what I know. Yeah, this gun does look pretty cool though. Next is the Weevil. Large magazine and high rate of fire. This is kind of like the P90, I'd say. This is like really cool. The Vesper. 40 rounds and it has the highest rate of fire. And then lastly, the BMP. It has lots of damage, very high rate of fire, but a very small magazine at 20 rounds. We're moving on to the snipers now with the Locust Bolt Action One Hit Kill Sniper Rifle. This is a one hit kill in the ribs and above. I really wish it was a one hit kill in the stomach and above because the Dracon is a one hit kill in the upper chest and above. I don't know how upper this will be because. That must not be ribs, I'd say it's probably about pretty much just below your neck and above. I imagine that's a two-shot kill. And then the P-06 is the most interesting sniper. It's a 15-round uh, gun, but it has it's a charged burst rifle. So you hold the trigger and charge it up, and it has a three-round deadly burst. Which is pretty cool. I don't know if you can just tap it and hold it, and then you can Right away. Next, we're moving on to the shotgun. KRM one hit kill pump action shotgun. Sort of like the 870. And then there's the K Maker full auto shotgun with modest damage. Sort of like the SMO, is what I guess I can compare it to. Basically, just a bullet hose. A ton of shotgun rounds. I wouldn't say down range because it's more of a close quarters gun. But yeah, I, I actually have to get like the SMO. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, so I'm sort of excited to they brought full out Next are the LMGs, there's the Dingo, which has a fast fire rate and moderate recoil. The last gun is the ERM, Strong Damage LMG. Now, that's what I for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for a Road to Max Frank series for Black Ops 3 Beta. I'm going to do a Road to Max Frank for Beta, and it's on every Content during the beta and when the game comes up. That's good for you guys.